Freshman tennis player Sarah Davatilla has been on the team just a few short months. Hard to believe, considering she's already clinched a tournament title. At the ITA Carolinas Regional, Davatilla won five straight matches to make it to the finals. Her opponent, friend and teammate, Jesse Aney. I've never been in that kind of situation before, so it was a little awkward at first. But then, you know, you have to realize it's, you're competing. It's a match, and I, I can't look at who I'm playing. I'm playing the ball. So that's what kept, got me through it. The freshman lost the first set 2-6 to Aney, but battled from behind to secure an impressive win. It's just a confidence booster in knowing even when I'm down, like, I can come back, compete, change my game style, you know, to, to pull it out. Two Tar Heels competing for the title, a difficult situation for head coach Brian Calvis, but one that's also a huge honor for the UNC team. Having two players in the finals is incredible for our program and for them, you know, it's, to, to my knowledge, it's never happened before. But this wasn't Davatilla's first big win in the preseason. In early October, she qualified for the Riviera All-Americans Tournament in California and came away with a victory in the main draw. Next big star in women's tennis? I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, everyone's everyone's really nice. So I try not to I try not to stress about it too much. I'm the underdog, so I'm just really excited to see what this year brings. One thing it's sure to bring: time on the court as a starter. She wants to please everybody. She wants to please herself. She wants to work hard. She wants to give her best every time. I I don't see her having days off. Davatilla might be new to Carolina, but she's certainly not new to winning, and that's something she hopes to do a lot more of as a Tar Heel. In Chapel Hill, I'm Jordan Jackson, reporting.